Chase, you make an all-time catch in BYU football history. Take us back to that play, what you were seeing, and, and what you're thinking when that ball's in the air headed your way. You know, I was just trying to play loose. I had a fumble early in the game. It was kind of stiff, and then flip. You know, all my teammates I could see just trusted in me and say, "Hey, you're, you know, you're a leader. You need to go out and make a play." So I felt that if I just, you know, keep loose, that, that something's going to happen. And that ball came and and kind of just happened. I didn't really expect it. Surprised that the ball was actually in my hand at the end of the play. So, uh, but just a blessing. Just shout out to the defense. You know, I I really struggled that game, and I'm so grateful the defense stepped up. Um, and the offense, everyone on the offense was just amazing. Keaton, Isaac, and all the receivers, the O-line. You know, I just I just love my team so much, and I'm great. Sorry, this is a long-winded answer, but I just love my team so much, and I don't know, I shouldn't be here right now, to be honest. It was the whole team that won that game, um, and I, I struggled a lot. Well, as it stands, you make the game-winning touchdown catch, and it's one thing to come up with that catch, but to get a foot down. So what, what are you thinking it, how, how are you positioning your body in that moment? I'm always, ever since I was little, I've always done these sideline catches where I try to keep my feet in, you know, watching Austin Collie doing stuff like that, NFL receivers. And so it's kind of just become a habit of kind of knowing where I am on the field and then coming down with the ball, focusing on that, and then my feet feel like they're always in where they need to be. At what point tonight did you feel like BYU is going to win this game? I, right at the beginning. I knew from the beginning everything that we prepared for this week, this whole preparation. Honestly, Monday, our preparation, we've been really spot on. And I felt like if we just do what we do, then we were going to win this game. And we actually struggled a lot on offense. If we were to keep everything clean, I feel like it would have been a different game. What changed for you to find some enough, success? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Sports Center top 10 plug right there. What what changed for you to find some, some success? Because that drive that you scored the touchdown on, was the longest sustained drive of the game. Yeah, I feel like we just stuck to it. We knew what we could do as an offense. A-Rod trusted us, uh, what we can do. Keaton trusted us, you know, every play. And, you know, we were running the ball really well. And I feel like that's what, what helped us a lot is it opened the pass game a lot. LJ has done a great job of running the ball. And that opened up the pass game. was able to, you know, go down and drive, have the run game and the pass game in there and then finish the game or finish that drive with a, with a touchdown pass. You've been a part of some dramatic wins and some big wins, certainly Baylor last year, this year at Arkansas. What makes this one unique? On the road, you know, SEC, um, just this team that we have. There's a lot of transfers, a lot of new guys. And I feel like the brotherhood is different from last year. We love each other so much, and we're willing to do whatever we can for each other um, on the field and off the field. So this one means a lot just with the friends that I've made and the people that have came and the fans that we have. We had a whole section of BYU fans, so we love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I'd just like, you know, I'd like you to show your hands. And just confirm there's no glue on them. No, There's no glue. There's, there's no glue on the hands. Congratulations, Chase, on a great win and a great catch. Thank you. Thank you so much.